Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Kickback. And this decal set includes three decal sheets, all on foil backing. Now, this video will be a little bit different because I'm not going to do a before and after with Kickback in Grasshopper mode because, well, Grasshopper mode is robot mode lying on his back. So now, let's take a look at Kickback, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Kickback looks awesome. I've said this multiple times on social media. Legacy Kickback is so G1, it hurts. He's almost spot on to the original Generation 1 toy. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head sculpt. I love the head sculpt. It looks awesome. Very cartoon accurate. He's got a silver forehead, silver face, and those evil red visors yellow antenna he's got these big tall translucent wings that kind of have the bug look to them insect wing look now at first i wasn't sure i was going to like the translucent wings because i hate translucent plastic but they don't look too bad on kickback here moving on down to the chest he's got a big purple decepticon insignia right there a little bit of green on the side of the chest Moving on down to the legs, he's got yellow below the knees and red shins. And that's it for the paint applications. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not going to do a before and after with kickback in insect mode because really his insect mode is him just lying on his back. So there you go, guys. There is kickback before and after. Kickback gets quite a few new decals thanks to Toy Hacks that really enhance his G1 toy look. So taking a closer look at the figure, let's start with the wings. He gets these new chrome wing decals here and here, and little decals that go inside the hollowed out sections on top of the wings. You wanna make it sure and put these on the outside of the wing because inside is where all the sculpted detail for the veins or bug detail, whatever that is. But what's cool, is the silver actually shines through on the other sides. That looks really good. And I love the details on the chrome stickers because it's the same details on the Generation 1 toy. We're going to be doing a lot of comparisons with this guy. Now taking a look at the head sculpt, he gets a new black decal there on top of the head and new red chrome visors. I love that. As I said earlier, moving back and forth, Actually, he looks like a Cylon. I said Knight Rider in my last review. He looks like a Cylon. I love that. There's new chrome decals right there for the shoulders. Once again, a nice callback to the original Generation 1 toy. New decals here for the little chest rectangle. That, once again, a great callback to the G1. Now, there was a decal that went right here on his chest. It was a black decal with some details, but I left that off because I really like the Decepticon logo right here. Now I was hoping to put it on the side of his chest like the Generation 1 toy, but all the sculpted details just make that impossible. He gets new purple decals right there on the crotch, up here on the shoulder, red and blue decals, silver decal right there in the bicep, and some red decals right above the fists. Moving on down to the knees, new yellow decals here, red decals on the feet, along with a little silver and red decal. And word of warning, this is a three-parter. You got two sections for the foot, 
and one section right there for the middle of the foot. And that's pretty much it for the front of the robot, looking at the side here on the legs. Lots of new decals right here that also add a nice G1 touch to the figure. And these are all separate. You have a long silver decal here, three different decals here, three different decals, the green decals that go in the circle inserts, and the silver on the outside. So I love the looks of Kickback now. Also, I always skip these. You get a bunch of pin covers, a bunch of black pin covers. You can see up here on the shoulders, the back of the legs, turn the arm around here for inside the arm. I love that Toy Hacks is adding those now because I do not like those silver pins. Now, the only decal that you would see in grasshopper mode is right here underneath the foot. Fold these up, he gets this new silver and black decal right there. That's the only different decal you're gonna see in grasshopper mode. So there you go guys, kick back. I can get him to stand up after. Toy Hacks once again did a fantastic job with their decal set for Legacy Kickback. I love when they do the sets that honor the original G1 figures. I think that is so cool that there's so many throwbacks on this figure. And I did forget to show a decal right here on the side of the antenna is those little yellow decals that look really good. I can't believe I missed that the first time. Now, what really surprised me with this decal set is they didn't include an optional black visor. The original kickback had the black visor where well, this one has the red, but I'll be honest, I would have picked the red anyway because that just looks so much better. So yeah, guys, if you are a G1 enthusiast like me, I highly recommend this toy hack set if you have Legacy Kickback. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, thanks to YouTube. I offer channel memberships, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!